What's going on, comrades? This is Supreme Leader Aaron here today for Gunpla Hangar. We're putting together the fourth kit from the G Unit series. And yeah, that's G, -G, 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 G Unit. We are doing Hydra Gundam. Now, this one's probably going to pick on my green screen a little bit, I, I think. No, he's more of a gray. He's not a green. That's good. That's perfect. That is perfect. I was a little bit worried that was going to pick on my green screen, but this is Hydra Gundam, guys. Hydra Gundam is a really cool, it looks almost like Death Scythe in a way, and I like that. It's got a weird head headset, too, or a weird, like, head crest, too, and I'm really kind of panicky about that, because that looks a little thin. But, guys, that is a super cool-looking suit. It's one of the Oz suits. It's piloted by Valder Farkill. Um, it's made of Gundanium alloy, of course. It has one Buster Cannon. Ooh. Ooh, we hadn't seen the Buster Cannon since Death Side or since Gundam Wing, and uh, two beam sabers, one EMF shield, and two shoulder claws. As you can see, you can see all that on that kit there, well, except for the shield. You don't really see that. But guys, I can't wait to put this thing together. Ooh, do the legs fold up? And what they do? Ooh, my. Ooh, guys, we're we're gonna be having some fun with this. We're gonna be having a lot of fun with this. There it looks like to be some really good detailed work here. So this is probably going to take me a little while to build. Let's get this out of the box and let's get to building.
Okay, so here we have the finished kit, and as you can see, this is a big kit, guys. This thing is, for, an, for a 144, this has got a lot of parts to it. It's very chunky, which I like chunky Gundams. I love the, the you know, the skirting around this and all that. It reminds me a lot of uh, Death Scythe Hell, and it's got that feel to it, too, especially when you start playing around with some of the parts. But here I have it posing with its uh, blaster here, that pulse rifle that it has, or the uh, beam rifle that it has. And that is a big beam rifle, guys. That reminds me a lot of the wing beam rifle. So it's super cool to see that on a, on another Gundam. Especially something that's not Gundam wing. But I'm going to tell you right now, even that alone was well worth putting this kit together. Just because it reminds me a lot of like the actual wing kits. Uh, you can see it here. It looks really well detailed. Uh, even the blaster was pretty detailed for being like non-painted and just standard color right there. Here I have it posing with its beam saber and its shield. Now that shield and beam saber combo is really nice. Um, you can't really see a lot of the detail in this just because it gets whitewashed real easy. A lot of those like clear decals do not show up too well. But there was a lot of de there was a little bit of decal work, not a whole lot, and I like that. That doesn't take a lot of time to put together. The only thing I really had to complain about decal-wise is the uh, face stickers. They, they actually had face instead of chin stickers, so that was kind of weird. But here I have it posing in its final form, which is the Hydra form, and that alone right there, guys, looks really cool. Those claws, the posability of this whole kit was just super easy. You can kind of see how the legs fold up to form the uh, jets there. Really cool kit, really just well-detailed kit. And I think I paid like 15 for this off of a USA Gundam store, so it's definitely worth the money in my opinion. If you get a chance, go get it. It's a really fun kit to put together. Alright comrades, that's it for today's build. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of today's build. Or, if there's a certain kit you'd like to see me build, leave a comment below and let me know about it. I would be glad to look it up and see if I have it. If I have it, I'll build it. If not, I'll buy it and build it. But uh, check the links in the description for all of my awesome friends' awesome works, as well as links to our merch shop, where you can snag awesome merch for not bad prices, and it supports the channel. Also, go check out the link for our affiliate, No Name Nerd, who also helps support our channel through your purchases. So make sure you go out and buy, buy some awesome esports gear, like a good jersey. You can customize your own jersey. And every purchase you make, 10% off if you use the channel name as a coupon in the checkout. So definitely go do that. A little bit of and each purchase does help support the channel as well. So definitely go out there and try that out. Grab some merch. Grab the uh, esports jersey from No Name Nerd. Do all that to help support the channel. But anyway, comrades, thank y'all so much for watching. Much love and dasvidaniya.